Hey guys, are you ready to play some games today? Yeah, Joe. I've been kind of hyped to play this one today, I can't lie. You lie all the time, Barack. Besides, what on earth have you two bozos even got me playing today? Why are we some random dude out in the middle of nowhere without any clothes on? This game is called A Difficult Game About Climbing, Donald. Joe, I asked for its name, not a description of it, you dumbass. No, Donald, you're not hearing me. The game is called A Difficult Game About Climbing. Joe, are you off your goddamn meds again? Did you not read the game's name or something? How the hell could you get us all to play this dumb-looking game if you can't even remember its name properly? Donald, the game's name is A Difficult Game About Climbing. He's not giving you a description of the game. He's just straight up telling you the game's name. Have you both just gone completely schizophrenic or something? Why the hell do you guys keep blanking on this game's name? Whatever. If this game is supposed to be as difficult as you guys keep insisting that it is, then why am I absolutely breezing through this thing no problem? To be fair, it is actually pretty surprising that you've managed to make it as far as you have in your first try. I expected your desk to have been punched into tiny little pieces by this point. Never underestimate my gaming ability, Barack. Every single time you guys have doubted me, you have been proven wrong without exceptions. Oh, it's not all about trying to be the best, guys. Just sit back and enjoy the scenery. You know, this is just like if we were taken back to the good old days where the only worries we had were swinging from branch to branch. Of course, that would be what you consider the good old days, you fucking ape. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did it just kick me off like that? Why the fuck am I all the way back down here? This is why this game is considered so difficult, Donald. This game doesn't have any kind of death barrier or save points that stop you from losing all of your progress. If you end up fucking up while climbing and fall, then you're going to be falling all of the way back down to the bottom or to whatever you can catch yourself on first. Oh, that is such a load of horseshit, Barack. Why the fuck would anyone want to play a game where the developer is specifically trying to piss you off for the entire time that you're playing it? It's because it's a challenge, Donald. I really thought that you of all people would understand that overcoming a challenge as difficult as this one would be pretty fun. Joe, literally nothing is a challenge to me anymore. I am so ungodly good at literally every single video game that has ever existed that nothing could ever possibly challenge me anymore. Donald, I'm pretty sure that this game is already doing a pretty good job of challenging you. Last time I checked, I would consider being sent straight back to the beginning after only a minute of playing the game to be a pretty good challenge. Shut the fuck up, Barack. This game isn't a challenge to me and I'll prove it. I am going to beat this game faster than anyone else ever has and then beat it again just to show you two losers how ungodly good at video games I am. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you bait Donald into doing what you want. Wait, why can't we reach up to that other rock over there? Is this not the direction that we're supposed to be going in? Why would they place a climbable rock right there if you were never supposed to be able to reach it? Joe, this is literally the only possible way that we could be going. You would have to be literally brain dead to put that big climbable rock there and then expect the players to just not go over and try to climb up it. To be fair, Donald, it's not exactly as though this game is trying to lend you a hand at any points. It wouldn't surprise me if the developer of this game is going to do shit like this just to fuck with us whenever possible. No way, Barack. Check it out. All that I need here is one good jump and I can make it up there. Trust me. Donald, I'm really not sure that jumping is going to be a good idea here. That sounds like a one-way journey straight back to the bottom again. Barack, if I wanted to hear you whine and complain, then I would have gone back and listened to some of your old speeches. Now is the time for a leap of faith that will pay off like none have before. <laughs> Okay, never mind. We're fine. Donald, are you willing to believe me when I say that I think jumping there isn't the play? I think we just need to get the perfect spot to reach up and grab a hold of it. How about you reach up and grab a hold of my big wrinkly balls, Barack? Just you watch. The big D Trump has got this. Oh, can you two please stop fighting already? Why can't we just enjoy a nice and peaceful game for once? Am I the only one that can appreciate how gorgeous this game is? Where else are you going to see views like this one? Joe, this view sucks, donkey balls. Besides, this game doesn't even look good at all. This just looks like a clone of that one game with the guy and the hammer. We should try playing that at some point. Oh, fuck yes. I told you two assholes that I could make it. Don't you ever doubt me ever again. Donald, you didn't even make it by jumping. You literally did it in the exact way that I was trying to tell you that you should be doing it. 
And I did it far better than you could have ever possibly imagined, Barack. You see, I told you guys that this game is going to be literally no trouble whatsoever for someone as awesome and amazing at games as the Big D Trump. Oh, we are making so much progress, guys. Oh, this is so exciting. We're like professional mountain climbers right now. Okay, it looks like the game is telling us to take a leap of faith here. And just like that, he caught himself. You can all hold your applause now. This level of gaming honestly doesn't even phase me anymore. Wait, what just happened? What just happened is that you just willingly dropped back to the start of the fucking game, you dumbass. What the fuck? Oh, this is complete and total horseshit. Why the fuck would there be a drop place like that? This game is so fucking rigged. I thought that it was all supposed to be so easy for you, Donald. Last time I checked, I don't think that willingly allowing yourself to go back to the start is a sign of having such an easy time with things. Joe, I swear to God, if I hear one more word coming out of your ancient bony mouth, then I'm going to come over there and find a mountain to throw you down to the bottom of in real life. Well, at least we know how to get past this section now. We just grab the top of that rock and then we can reach up here just fine, no problem. All right, we're almost back to where we were again. Now this time we just gotta not let the game pull any more bullshit on us. I think you mean to say that we shouldn't let you go dropping straight back down to the beginning of the game completely willingly, Donald. Joe, I swear to God I will make it look like an accident. I will send you off that cliff looking like a fucking G-Mod ragdoll. <laughs> Holy fuck, that jump scared the shit out of me. Why did that just randomly crack the second time that we grabbed it? Did we just completely go past it the first time or something? Who cares, Barack? Are you seeing this fucking pace right here? Fuck, I am such a god-tier gamer. I honestly feel bad for this developer. He definitely thought he had a game that no one would beat right here. It's just a shame that someone as amazing as myself has to exist, or he might just have achieved it. Okay, so where are we supposed to be going from here? Ooh. Look, there's a little cliff over there. All right, I don't think that we're gonna be able to reach that one normally. I think we should try getting America! a- America! Fuck! Oh, for God's sake, Donald. Now we're gonna have to go all of the way back up there again. Well, how the fuck was I supposed to know that wasn't gonna work? The game was clearly trying to point us in the direction of jumping it there. It's not my fault that this game is just trying everything that it possibly can to stop us from reaching the top. Oh, this is going to take so long. Why do I get the feeling that we're going to be here a while before we see any more of this map? You're probably getting that feeling because Donald is being completely brain dead with this game while also trying to say he's the best gamer to ever exist. I am the best gamer, Barack, and don't you ever forget it. Fuck! Oh, God damn it! This game is rigged. I just know it. Oh, this is going to be a seriously painful hour and a half. The only thing that's painful here, Joe, is your choice of video game for the day. This has got to be one of the most bullshit games that you have ever fucking picked for this channel, and that is saying a whole hell of a lot. I thought that you were happy to have the challenge of it, though, Donald. Or have you changed your mind about that yet? Shut the fuck up, Barack. This game isn't a challenge to me. It's just total fucking bullshit. It isn't a challenge to get toyed with. It's just annoying. I could beat this game whenever I wanted to. I'm just trying not to embarrass you guys too badly. Is anyone else going to point out that he fell back down to the bottom while literally in the middle of a massive rant about how this game isn't difficult for him? Joe, one more word and I will melt all of your ice cream and make you watch. No, please, not my ice cream. I'll be quiet, Donald, I swear. Donald, did you really have to go threatening the man's ice cream like that? You know how protective of that stuff he gets? I've seen him literally go full on Hobbit mode for that stuff. I said it because I meant it, Barack. If you go clapping at the Big D Trump, then you had better be sure that you're going to win because when I clap back, it isn't going to be pretty. Donald, you're starting to sound like those guys who think that they are Sigma Wolves in the comments of Instagram Reels. Bro is literally turning into a walking cringe compilation clip. Careful with shit like that, Barack. If you go poking the bear, then the bear might just bite back at you. You're kind of just proving me right with that one, Donald. Guys, can we just work together for a second, please? We need to figure out what we're going to do when we get back to that jump that we missed earlier. Well, that's simple, Joe. We're just gonna do the jump again. But this time, we're gonna do it better. Believe me when I say that I don't like agreeing with Donald here, but to be honest, I don't exactly know what else there is that we can do. There's no way that we can reach that distance without jumping it, so we're just gonna have to try figuring out how we're supposed to jump it and then just going for it. Don't worry, guys. 
The big D Trump has got an idea. I can take care of this jump, no problem. Just leave it to me. Donald, there is no way that I am letting you YOLO this jump again. Let's just sit and scope it out for a second. It looks like a pretty far jump. So maybe we should go up to the very top of this little section here so that we can get as much distance as possible before we pass it. Good thinking, Barack. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. Booyah! Oh, I am such a god-tier level gamer. They honestly need to make games harder these days. This shit is just too easy for me. Don't go celebrating too easily yet, Donald. There's still nothing below us at the moment, so if we fall right now, then we're going to be taking an express trip straight down to the bottom again. Oh, please don't say that, Barack. My hands are still shaking from the last jump. Guys, can you just chill out? This bit is easy as fuck. All we've got to do is reach up and- I've never felt as unconsolably violent as I do right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're gonna have to do all of that all over again. This shit is gonna take us forever. Oh, I wish this game had some kind of checkpoint system or something. Getting all of the way up there and then just falling all of the way back down without being able to save ourselves on anything is such a pain on my poor little heart. Fuck your little heart, Joe. What about the pain on my fucking time? We've been playing this game for well over 10 minutes and we're in the exact same spot that we fucking started in. How the fuck are we gonna beat this game if we can't even make it past the first section? Well, at least we are making progress in the way that matters most, Donald. Joe, what in the actual fuck are you talking about? We are literally still at the start of the fucking game right now. How the fuck have we made any progress whatsoever? We've made progress in our experience, Donald. We know how to play the game a lot better than we ever have before. If we continue on a path like this, then our patience will surely be rewarded. Joe, what the fuck kind of pansy-ass beta male shit are you talking about? The only experience I've been gaining during this whole game has been on how to best resist the urge to beat the ever-living shit out of my monitor. Donald, you really do not want to go punching your monitor. I've seen how much you paid for those things. You might as well be destroying someone's college fund with a single punch. You think that I give a shit about how much my monitors cost, Barack? I make enough money to buy like three of these things every hour. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass to have to go and get one of my servants to go and get another one for me. Wait, so you're telling me that you're willing to destroy your monitor just for the hell of it, but when I asked if we could upgrade my dingy old TV, you said that it wasn't in the budget? Correction, Joe, I said that upgrading your equipment wasn't in the budget. There is no point in polishing the turd of the group. You aren't going to gain any advantage from better gear because you are too trash to use it properly anyways. We are better off saving our money for someone that actually matters. Oh, but can't you just spare a little bit of the budget so that I can get a monitor that isn't running at 720p? This thing is so old that it's even caught fire a couple times before. No way, Joe. I'm not wasting my money on someone who is so trash that they can't truly appreciate the advantages that a monitor like mine gives you. Donald, cut the guy some slack. I'm sure that we can spare some of the money that we're making from this channel to help Joe get a monitor that isn't going to spontaneously set his house on fire. No way, Barack. Have you not been listening to me or something? There is no point polishing a turd. The only reasonable thing to do in our situation is to put all of our resources into the best player that we have available. The fact that player just so happens to be me is simply a coincidence. Oh, that is such BS, Donald. You're just trying to hog as much of the stuff for yourself as possible. Welcome to business, asshole. It's a game of winners and losers. The fact that I have won this one, too, is just yet another notch on the belt for me. Take it as a learning experience. Maybe next time you won't be so easy to beat. Donald, you can be a real asshole sometimes, you know that? Of course he does, Joe. I just don't think that he actually cares at all. You're goddamn right that I don't, Barack. Caring for losers will only ever drag you down. There's another free business lesson for you right there. All right, well, can we just focus on the game again? We've just been falling on the section that we should already have down for like the past five minutes straight now. Can we please just focus up so that we can take another shot at that jump that we were stuck on earlier? Don't rush greatness, Barack. I'm working on it. And if you've got the big D Trump on the task, then you can rest assured that I'm gonna get it done faster than anyone else can. Just give me a second and we'll be up at the top of this mountain in no time. Donald saying that really doesn't fill me with any amount of confidence. The amount of times I've watched you pull some of the dumbest shit this episode is actually crazy. 
Have you already forgotten about the time that you completely fucked up the jump before we even had a chance to scope it out? Greatness involves risk, Barack. You've got to trust the process. Speaking of which, watch this. Fuck, how the fuck did that not work? Yeah, nice process, asshole. Now, are you finally willing to shut the fuck up and just do this the smart way? Shut the fuck up, Barack. You really do not want to go pissing me off right now. I'll take that as a no, then. Yeah, Barack, you should be used to taking no's by this point. Poor Michelle hasn't had a proper man in decades. What the fuck did you just say to me, you orange shrimp dick loser? I was just pointing out that Michelle must be missing some real manhood by this point. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Oh, come on, guys. Can't we just focus on the game again? Why have we got to be at each other's throats all of a sudden? Don't worry, Joe. Once the drone strike that I ordered on Donald is finished, then we can focus on the game without any annoying orange dickheads in the call pissing us off. Wait, what? Okay, I'm sorry, Barack, I didn't mean it. Please just call off the drone strike. Apology accepted, you moldy apricot. Besides, do you really think that I would go calling a drone strike on you that easily, Donald? Wait, so you were just fucking lying there? Well, you are always saying that we need to take some lessons from you, Donald. I guess I'm not as bad of a businessman as you originally thought I was. I, I've never felt so pissed off and proud at the same time before. Phew. You guys really had me worried that there was going to be some big fight there for a second. Hey, do you think that if Donald dies before me, then I could use his monitor? Not a fucking chance, Joe. This thing is getting buried with me. There is no way that I'm letting your grubby little hands get a hold of it. Oh, come on, Donald. Things being buried with you should be reserved for the kind of things that are really special to you. This monitor is really special to me, Joe. This monitor might as well be my wife with how much time I spend with it. There is no way I'm letting my technological wife fall into the hands of some creepy, wrinkly weirdo. Wait, but if that monitor is like your wife, then why are you having to control yourself from punching a hole through it? Poor Melania can't be having a very good time then. Fuck! We missed it again! I swear to God, I'm going to find whatever asshole made this game, and I'm going to give him the full fury of an elite legal team. I'd like to see how this bozo holds up against the one and only Big D Trump in court. I tried warning you that this game was going to be difficult, Donald. The fact that it is a difficult game about climbing is quite literally in the title of the game. Joe, what in the actual fuck are you even talking about? You still haven't even told me what the actual title of the game is yet. Are you losing your fucking mind right now or something? Donald, we have told you the name of the game like 10 different times by this point. It's not our fault if you are just too stupid to understand what we're saying. Barack, I'm not too stupid to understand you two bozos. Clearly, it's just that you two are too stupid to understand that you haven't actually told me what the game's name even is yet. All right, Donald. I'll ask you this, then. If you had to give this game a name, then what would you call it? Oh, now you're speaking to my strong suit, Barack. I can come up with some of the best names ever. People actually say that they think it's because of my incredible ability to name things that literally every single one of my businesses do as well as they do. All right. So what do you think would be a good name for this game, Donald? Hmm. Well, taking into account what the gameplay is like and the simplistic nature of the game, I think something straight to the point would work. Maybe if you called it something like a difficult game about climbing. That is quirky enough that it might stick in people's minds and also perfectly describes what the game is all about. Donald, I'm legitimately struggling to comprehend the amount of stupidity that you're putting on display at the moment. Don't hate me just for being a genius, Barack. My names have been tried and tested and have been scientifically proven to be amazing. If you want to live the rest of your life naming things horribly, then be my guest. But I, for one, think that you should try grabbing a notepad and taking a few lessons from me. Wait. Why would you call it a difficult game about climbing if you don't actually think that the game is difficult, though, Donald? Are you finally willing to admit that there might be at least a little bit of challenge to this game? Nice try, Joe, but not a fucking chance. This game is easy as all fuck. I'm just calling it difficult because you two keep insisting that this game actually has some kind of challenge to it for some reason. We nearly caught him lacking on that one, Joe. It's just a shame that Donald is still delusional enough that even when he's caught with his pants down like that, he still just straight up denies it. You would be wise to try learning how to do that yourself, Barack. You'd be surprised just how many business deals I was able to win because of just how easily I find it to convince people that I am always in the right. Wait, but isn't that just called gaslighting, Donald? 
I don't exactly think that should be something that you should be bragging about, if I'm completely honest. Gaslighting isn't real, Joe. You're literally just making up words at the moment. You're genuinely just straight up insane if you think that gaslighting is real. Yet another reason to feel bad for Melania. Trust me, Barack, you're not going to catch her complaining about anything. Let's just say that there's more than one reason that they call me the Big D Trump after all. Are you sure about that, Donald? Because I was talking to her the other day and she seemed to be saying something completely different. Oh, for fuck's sake, what did she tell you? If she said anything about how shriveled it looks, then she's lying. Donald, you dumbass. She didn't tell me anything. I was baiting you into telling me the truth yourself and you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, for fuck's sake, did you guys see that? I literally grabbed onto the fucking rock right there and it just straight up tossed me right back off. Oh, for fuck's sake, how many times are we gonna have to go back up and down this same fucking mountain before it finally just lets us move on? Maybe we just need to come at it from another angle, Donald. Maybe there's something up there that's gonna make the whole thing a lot easier that we just haven't seen yet. Joe, how the hell could there be something up there that we haven't seen? Are you just a fucking idiot or are you just straight up blind? The only thing up there is a bullshit fucking jump that's completely fucking random. There has got to be some kind of way to do the jump that we haven't figured out, though, yet, Donald. Maybe if we try swinging before we make the jump, then we can build up a little bit of extra momentum so that we can cross the gap a little bit more easily. Well, normally I wouldn't even entertain an idea that's coming from you two bozos, but I guess since this game just loves cheating its way into making me replay all of it over and over again, then I might as well give it a shot. Fighting stupid with even more stupid makes sense in some strange kind of way, I guess. Well, as long as it saves us money on you not beating the crap out of your monitor, then surely it's going to be worth it. The only thing that's going to be facing my wrath today is the developer of this absolutely fucking dog shit game, Joe. I'm going to put him under literally every single kind of torment currently known to mankind. I'm going to make him beg for mercy, and then right when he thinks I'm going to let him go, I'm going to make him have to play this game all of the way through without any breaks. I'll have him wishing that he was dead by the end of that one. All right, here we are, Donald. Please just make it this time. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck, stick, fucking shit. This game is awful. I hate you guys for making me play this. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're actually gonna have to climb the entire mountain all over again for like the 30th goddamn time. Maybe it's worth it for us to go and take a quick little break, guys. I think that we're all getting pretty tired of seeing the exact same section of the game over and over again by this point. No fucking way, Joe. If this complete asshole of a developer thinks that he can best the big D Trump, then he has got an absolute shitstorm of embarrassment coming his way. I'm going to beat this game so goddamn hard that this asshole's entire family bloodline is going to be embarrassed to call him one of their offspring. Well, it sure does seem like Donald has gotten a fire lit under his ass at least. He's either going to complete the entire game in one big go here, or we might need to start looking for new monitors on the side ready for him. Don't you even fucking dare suggest that I could fail here, Barack? This asshole dev has royally pissed me off now, and when I get pissed off, the entire fucking earth starts quaking in fear. Oh, calm down, Donald. I'm sure that we'll make it up to the top of the mountain with time. The name of the game here is patience, not anger. Don't you fucking dare tell me to calm down, you rejected fucking necromite. I don't need some Indiana Jones background prop to be telling me how the fuck I should be feeling right now. I'm just trying to be helpful, Donald. We really don't need you going and breaking something in a fit of anger right now. I could really do with using those funds to upgrade some of the really old stuff that I'm still stuck with. Joe, for the last time, you are not getting any goddamn monitors from me. The only thing that you'll get from me is a small chunk of LED. Besides, don't tell me what the fuck I can and can't do with my own goddamn stuff, you asshole. If I want to break everything that I own, then that is my choice to make you fucking zombie. All right, we made it back. Okay, now let's try doing that swinging thing that we were talking about earlier. I think this might be just the thing that we need to cross the gap. It had fucking better be, Barack. Because I swear to God, I'm not doing any of that fucking bullshit again. Wait, we're not high up enough. We should try getting as much height as possible before we do this. All right, well, there's no time like the present. Breathe in, boys. Here we go. Fuck yes, we made it. Fucking finally. Fuck you, developer. You can't keep the big D Trump down. All right, cool it down a little bit, Donald. We still have to make it past this little section over here before we can start making any kind of claims of safety. Oh, come on, Barack. What do you think of me? This next bit is easy. 
All we have to do is get up to the top here and reach over like this, and we can get up there and be on our way. Uh, Donald, is everything okay? It's been smashed to pieces. Wait, what? What has? My monitor, Barack, there's literally tiny little pieces of it covering my entire floor at the moment. Oh, man. I would have loved to have a monitor like that. Well, you're more than welcome to come over here and take it now, Joe. My advice, though, is that you might want to bring a broom for when you do. All right, well, I guess I'm taking over the game now, then. Are you still going to be able to play today, Donald? Yeah, I am, Barack. I'm just going to need to go and get one of my servants to get me another monitor real quick. All righty, Donald. Well, let us know when you're back, and we're going to keep trying to get past that little section in the meantime. All right, I'll be back in like five minutes. Well, I guess it's just us now then, Joe. I gotta say, these controls are super weird. I wonder if there's any kind of way that we can use our legs to help us climb as well as just our hands. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Barack. Everyone knows that using your legs while climbing something is literally illegal. Oh yeah, my bad, Joe. I guess I must have just completely forgotten about that for a second there. Besides, using your legs to climb is for chumps anyway. We can do this no problem with just our hands. Oh, wow, you're really running through this game already, Barack. Did you practice this game before playing it with us or something? Nah, Joe. I honestly think that Donald was just being a massive crybaby when he was complaining about this game being bullshit. It really isn't as hard as he made it look to be completely honest. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Donald does tend to be a little bit of a drama queen, after all. Say, did you actually call that drone strike on him earlier, or were you actually just joking around the entire time? Nah, I had it locked and loaded, ready to take his orange ass out. I can't lie. I just knew that he would be way too on edge if I told him the truth there. He's just lucky that I was willing to forgive him, to be honest. Ooh, do you think that we could maybe use the same tactic to try and convince him to let me get one of his monitors? I'm getting really tired of this old thing. You want me to threaten Donald's life so that he'll give you one of his monitors? Joe, you're honestly starting to sound a little bit like Donald all of a sudden. Well, he's always telling us about how we need to be learning something from him, Barack. And Lord knows that fat bastard isn't going to give me one of those monitors just out of the goodness of his heart. I'm honestly not even sure that he has one of those anymore. I'm willing to bet that it's pure Big Mac sauce that is keeping his brain oxygenated by this point. That's fair enough, Joe. I guess we can give it a shot when he gets back then. For now, though, we're back at the jump again. Let's see if the swinging technique works as well as it did last time. Here we go, fuck! All right, so I guess the swinging technique isn't just a guaranteed win like we thought it was then. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to try that again. I think I released my grip on the swing just a little bit too late. I think we need to try and let go at a point of the swing where more of our momentum is sent horizontally so that we don't just end up getting sent straight upwards. That sounds like a pretty good plan, Barack. Oh, I do hope that we're able to make it past this little section soon. Surely there has to be something further up that stops them from being as punishing as they are right now. Having to climb for like a full five minutes just to be able to take another shot at that jump is starting to get pretty degrading. Well, logically, we can only go up, Joe. Surely if there's so much up ahead of us, then, then there's only so much space that they can move us from side to side. If we get higher up, then we should start being able to grab onto parts of the mountain from earlier that we can catch ourselves on. I think we've just got to power through this last little jump at the end there. And then we should have a much easier time with our falls from there. Oh, I sure do hope so, Barack. With how many times we've gone up and down and up and down and up and down in this section, I can kind of start to understand why Donald sent his monitor into the fucking shadow realm. Speaking of which, I hope that he's able to get back soon. I'm almost a little hesitant to make any kind of progress while he's not here. If he's gonna go being cocky about beating this game himself, then I don't really wanna go giving him any kind of help that'll just end up serving to boost his ego even further than it already is. Oh, but do you really want to spend the next two hours sat down at the bottom of this mountain constantly hearing Donald rage about how it's the game's fault that we keep falling at the exact same spot over and over again? I guess you're right, Joe. To be honest, though, that's even assuming that we're able to get over there ourselves first. We've already failed that jump on our own once now. The rest of this game is still pretty easy, but I'll give it to Donald. That jump is actually pretty darn difficult. 
Oh, don't go talking like that, Barack. We've got this. I just have that funny little feeling inside of me that's telling me that everything is going to be okay and that we are going to achieve everything that we've ever wanted here. All right, well, let's hope you're right, Joe. Let's go. Fuck yes, we made it. Okay, now we just have to not screw up on this little ledge here. Let's just take this nice and slowly. There's no jumps here. We just need to reach over and grab the other rock. Slow and steady is gonna be what wins the race here. Careful, Barack, we're slipping. I see that, Joe. Okay, let's just try and grab it from the highest point possible. Maybe that will help here. Holy jeepers creepers, we made it. Don't celebrate too much yet, Joe. We're still very much directly over the top of that ocean at the moment. Let's save the celebrations for when we're safe. Oh my God, Barack, I'm so nervous. My hands are shaking right now and this next section looks really tricky. Calm down, Joe, we've got this. Oh, it's so evil that they put a section this tricky so far up from any other point in the mountain. Oh, I'm so scared that one of these branches is gonna break on us. Please just let us get to somewhere safe, Barack. I don't think that my heart could take a fall from all the way up here. Wait, is that water? Holy shit, it's a checkpoint. Please, Barack, please just reach it. Holy fuck, we got it. Oh my God. I've never been so goddamn happy to find a tiny fucking pond before. Oh, yippee. Oh, I'm so happy at the moment. I actually feel like I might just cry. What's up, losers? Are you ready for your main character to carry you again? Ooh, Donald, you're back. Oh, you'll be so proud of us, Donald. We managed to make it past that little jump and we found ourselves a checkpoint. We don't have to go all of the way back to the bottom anymore. Wait, what? How the hell did you two brain-dead idiots manage to pull that off? We actually managed to get it on our second try, Donald. We kind of just came at it with the slow and steady wins the race kind of mentality, and it ended up not taking very long at all. Well, just for your information, Barack, that was actually going to be the very next thing that I was going to try. So I guess if that monitor was just a little bit more resistant, then I would have been able to do it without you two losers anyway. Donald, are you seriously gonna blame your monitor for breaking when you beat the ever-loving shit out of it like that? I mean, I'm pretty sure that I felt the vibrations of those punches all the way from the White House. Of course I'm gonna blame the monitor, Joe. It's not my fault that they make these things so damn fragile that they just can't withstand the might of the big D, Trump. I had my assistant go and get me a spare one just in case as well, so that if this thing ever manages to break again, then I won't have to get my servant to go all of the way to the store to grab me another one. Wait, so you just have a second monitor lying around not doing anything now? Joe, are you fucking deaf or something? Do I seriously need to repeat myself to you? Yes, I have another monitor sat waiting if this one breaks. Is it really that hard to understand? Oh, okay then. Well. While you were gone, me and Barack had a little chat, and we think that it's only fair that with all of the hard work that I am putting Donald, into Donald, give him one of those monitors or I'm gonna drone strike your orange ass out of existence. What the fuck? So this is what you guys were getting up to while I was gone? Fucking conspiring against me to take one of my monitors away from me? And you're doing it by threatening my life of all things? Yeah, basically. It seems like you hit the nail on the head right there. Oh, I'm so sorry, Donald. I didn't mean to offend you at all. I just really wanted to. You one of beautiful those. bastards have been taking lessons from me. All right, Joe. You can come and get the spare monitor after we're done recording. I'm not going to lie. I really thought that you two were lost causes when it comes to stuff like this. I've been telling you both that you should be trying to learn my tactics for like a year now, and I'd honestly lost hope of you ever realizing how epic and amazing I am. Wow. I honestly wasn't expecting that outcome. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yippee! Thank you, Donald. Oh, I'm gonna be so glad to finally see the end of this dingy old piece of crap. Whoa, what the fuck? Why did I just get absolutely fucking launched back downwards like that? All right, Barack. Clearly, I can see that you're starting to hit your limits. You might finally be learning, but this game still requires the touch of a master to get anywhere good. Give me back control, and I'll have this game over and dealt with in no time. If you say so, Donald. Just remember that I'm still right here if you ever get stuck. All right, here we go, boys. The Big D Trump is back in control. And just like that, this game's developer started quaking in fear. That summit might as well give up and just come down here to meet us already. Oh, look, it's the waterfall. The water is making us get dragged downwards whenever we try grabbing on top of it. I guess we're gonna have to be really careful with where we are and are not trying to grab onto something up here. Well, that is just straight up obvious, Barack. 
I could see that was what's going on from the moment that I joined back. I didn't even bother saying it because I just assumed that you two idiots would have already figured that much out by yourselves. Oh, please be careful right now, Donald. I don't think that we're over the top of that little pond when you're on the right side of the waterfall like that. If we fall down from over there, then we might end up falling all the way back to the beginning again. Chill the fuck out, Joe. I got this. If there's one thing that you can trust, then it is the fact that no matter the task, the big D Trump is going to get it done in his very first try. Yeah, because that mindset worked so well for you earlier. Isn't that right, Donald? Oh, shut the fuck up, Barack. You're just jealous. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, that is so bullshit. Why the fuck did it just throw me off like that? I thought that the water was obvious, Donald. Why didn't you just not grab onto it if it's something so obvious that you didn't even bother explaining it? Shut the fuck up, Barack. I didn't. This game just fucking cheats. Oh, look on the bright side, Donald. At least we managed to still be within range of the checkpoint here. It would have been a whole hell of a lot worse if falling there would have sent us all of the way back to the beginning like the last time we got stuck on something. That's a good point, Joe. At least now we don't have to worry about being sent all of the way back to the very beginning of the game again whenever we fuck up. We just have to make sure that we don't go fucking up on that climb on the very left side over there and we shouldn't be losing any more progress than this. I gotta admit, I was getting really tired of seeing that same area of the map over and over and over again. We only had to see that area so many times because of all of this game's bullshit anyway, Barack. If this game would just stop doing so much shit to try and fuck with me, then we could maybe start making some actual progress. Oh, come on, Donald, don't be such a downer. Look at all of the progress that we've managed to make so far. I think that we've actually done a pretty good job, all things concerned. There's no such thing as progress, Joe. There's only winning and losing. Do or do not, there is no try. Donald, was that a fucking Star Wars reference? Is that what we're doing now? We're just referencing Star Wars mid-video? Of course I am, Barack. Star Wars is fucking epic, and literally everyone agrees with me on this. I'm just giving you the warning that if you go talking shit about Star Wars right now, then you're going to end up getting absolutely ass-blasted in the comments for it. Donald, Star Wars hasn't come out with a good film since the fucking 80s. How can you say something's good if they haven't released anything good in like 40 years? I've had more entertaining shits than most Star Wars movies. You take that back, Barack. I swear to God I'm going to come over there right the fuck now and shove a lightsaber so far up your backside that you'll be spitting out plasma for months. Well, I for one always thought that Star Wars was pretty cool. I actually have a poster on my wall of that one really cool fish-looking dude. Fish-looking dude? Joe, who the fuck are you? Wait, Joe, for the love of God, please don't tell me you're talking about who I think you're talking about. I'm talking about that one guy that goes all of the me-so-cool type of stuff. All right, well, at least I can thank you for sharing your opinion, Joe. Because now both me and Donald have a common enemy in this situation. Wait, what? What did I say? I was just talking about my favorite character. Exactly our point, Joe. Anyone who actually likes Jar Jar Binks deserves to be euthanized on the spot. I'm sorry, Joe, but there is no fucking way that I can be seen with you in public anymore. Wait, but I thought you never wanted to be seen with me anyway. We haven't hung out in public for like the last three years by this point. Actually, it's five years, Joe. Debating each other for the election doesn't count as hanging out. And I must say, it's been an absolutely blissful five years because of it. Donald, there is no way that you can go saying that the last five years have been blissful for you with a straight face on. I swear I've heard of you facing a different kind of major legal trouble like every six months by this point. I don't know what to tell you, Barack. When you're as rich, cool, awesome, and successful as I am, people tend to just foam at the mouth for any and every opportunity to take you down a peg. It's not my fault that I'm just so awesome that I keep winning all of my cases anyway. That is total cap, Donald. Haven't you lost like almost every single one of your cases so far? I swear I remember hearing something recently about you having to make a GoFundMe just to afford your legal fees after being called out for lying about how rich you are. Shut the fuck up, Barack. I'm rich, all right. I don't know why everyone seems to find that so hard to believe. Do you really think that someone as awesome as me wouldn't be filthy, stinking rich? You're living in an actual fantasy land. Wait, how much have you managed to raise for the GoFundMe so far? Oh, I managed to get those idiots to give me a whole extra two million dollars. Honestly, I used to think that you had to work and sell things to make money. 
But so far, just telling people that it'll save America is doing a pretty good job of making me even richer than I was before. How much is the goal even set to anyway? Surely with two million, you would have hit your goal by this point. Why the fuck would I set my goal at two million, Barack? Do I look fucking poor to you or something? That shit is for the full 355 million. I'm gonna make those suckers pay for every single penny possible. Oh, come on, Donald. Don't you think it's at least a little bit immoral to go using your fans for money like that? Joe, the day that you realize that your fans are like cash chips that you can call in, the sooner you'll reach even the slightest hint of my level. Why else do you think I do this dumbass channel with you two losers? I'm doing this so that I can get even more fans to trick into giving me money when the time is right. Donald, you realize that you just announced your entire plan about using our fans for money while we're recording a video that all of our fans are going to see, right? Fuck! Okay, we're gonna have to get that editor guy that we chained up in the basement to take that part out. We can't let them know what's going on too early into the process. Nah, no way, Donald. I'm telling him to keep it in. I feel like causing some chaos today, and you just gave me the perfect opportunity for it. If you say so, Barack, but don't come crying to me when all of our channel members suddenly start commenting that they want a refund because of your dumbass. Donald, I'm pretty sure that most people don't even realize that we have memberships enabled. I think we've had like five people ever sign up for it. Quick word to thank the members, though. Yeah, thank you to all of our members. We really appreciate all of your money. Wait, I mean support. We appreciate your support. Smooth, Donald. You're on a roll today. Oh, shut the fuck up, Barack. The last thing that I need right now is your smug ass trying to be funny. Your dumb ass just cost me one of my backup plans. Oh, well, Donald. Who needs backup plans anyway when your main plan is playing games with your friends all day? I need them when the main plan is playing this fucking game with friends all day, Joe. Even with this checkpoint here, we've been going up and down and up and down in this same little section for like 10 minutes straight by this point. The novelty of there being a new area starts to go away pretty quickly after seeing it for the 700th time in a row. Oh, don't be such a downer, Donald. We're making some pretty good progress overall. All we need is one more good run on that waterfall section and we'll be on our way in no time. I can guarantee it. Believe me, Joe, I know that already. We've only needed one more good run up there for like the past fucking 10 minutes. You know, for a second there, I started questioning why I broke my monitor over this game. I'm now starting to remember. Well, at least we've still got this checkpoint here. This game would be absolutely brutal if it sent us straight back down to the beginning all over again. Yeah, Barack, thank God we've only got to get past this tiny little section before we're completely safe from falling like that. I could never imagine us falling at this bit. Donald, did I just hear you break another fucking monitor? Yeah, sorry, Joe. You're not going to be getting the other monitor now. I'm going to have to use that one now, too. Oh, man. I was really excited to finally get myself a new monitor. Are we seriously going to have to do this entire game all over again from the very beginning? We were so high up already. I think we are, Donald. At least when we do it this time, we already know all of the strats to get us back up to where we were, I guess. God, this game is tempting me to just rage quit it at the moment, though. Well, there's no time like the present, guys. Let's just get back up there so that we can give this whole thing another try, yeah? yeah? Surely it can't still be all that bad? Joe, I really do not need your dumbass trying to be overly positive right now. I'm not trying to have three monitors destroyed in the making of this video. Well, at least we're zooming through this starting section at the moment. Now all we've got to do is make sure that we don't screw up that jump a little further up, and we should be all fine. Oh, for fuck's sake, I had forgotten about the goddamn jump. Oh, can we just fucking leave the rest of this game to another day or something? I actually feel like I have the capability to punch an orphan in the mouth with how outrageously angry this stupid fucking game has made me. Oh, come on, Donald. That is a little bit extreme, don't you think? Yeah. Joe, that is me holding back at the moment. If I unleashed all of the rage that this stupid fucking game is putting me through, then I can promise you that the result body count would be well into the thousands. All right, guys, we got to focus up right here. This is the bit that we've been struggling with for ages. If we can make it past this bit, then we should be all good to get straight back to where we were. Don't even worry, Barack. The big D Trump has got this. Literally, all we got to do from here is just grab the fucking rock and we're all good. This is going to be easy. All right, Donald. 
Just be careful about slipping off. Holding on to something with only one hand seems to have you slowly fall off it. Barack, I think I figured out how this game works by this point. You really do not need to go trying to explain shit like this to me. Uh, what the fuck? I was fucking holding on to it. I just know I was. That was actually pretty weird. I could have sworn that we had made it already there. You see, guys? I'm fucking telling you this game cheats. I made it to that other rock 100%. This game is just straight up lying to me now because it knows that I'm going to beat it too fast if it doesn't. Let's just try going a bit slower when we reach that bit. First, I just want to see if there's anything cool at the bottom down here. Maybe there's an Easter egg or something. Ooh, an Easter egg? Oh, I would absolutely love a little bit of chocolate at the moment. Oh, that is just the thing I need right after losing almost an hour's worth of progress in a game. Joe, I wasn't talking about a literal physical Easter egg. I was talking about the little secrets that developers put in their games for people to find. Wait, so is there or is there not any chocolate that I can have? If you're talking about getting chocolate from this game specifically, then no. There isn't any chocolate that you can have, Joe. Oh, man. I was really excited to have some chocolate after everything that has happened so far. Joe, if you want chocolate so bad, then why don't you just go and fucking buy some? Oh, but it's not the same, Donald. There's a certain amount of sentimentality that comes with it when someone gives you chocolate that you just don't get from simply buying it yourself. Joe, what in the actual fuck are you talking about? Sentimentality is for poor people, Joe. Don't be a fucking brokey and just go get your goddamn chocolate already. Nah, I think I can kind of understand where he's coming from. It does feel a whole hell of a lot more special to be given chocolate by someone than just being going out and buying it yourself. Being given chocolate is kind of a sweet thing that someone can do, whereas buying some chocolate for yourself just makes you feel fat and unhealthy. I literally have no idea what you two idiots are talking about. The best feeling in the world is knowing that you can buy that shit yourself because you're filthy, stinking rich. I couldn't care less about feeling fat or unhealthy. Why does it not surprise me that you don't care about feeling fat or unhealthy, Donald? It's because I have the best body known to mankind, Barack. I've actually had scientific journals try approaching me and asking me if I would let them study my amazing body because they want a better understanding on how the best and most perfect body that a person can have is achieved. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet that they came to you because they needed a cautionary tale of exactly what not to do to achieve it. Believe whatever you want, Barack. All I'm going to say is that the results speak for themselves. And women everywhere flock like moths to a flame to come and get a piece of the big D Trump. Donald, the women on Epstein's island don't count. Why the fuck not, Joe? You should have seen me in that place. Girls were basically climbing over each other to try and get a piece of this amazing bod. Donald, I think it's pretty obvious that it doesn't count if the girls don't actually want you and are just being forced into it. I really wouldn't go bragging about the kind of girls that you were bagging on Epstein's fucking island. Yeah, Donald. I really don't think that you need to go getting yourself into even more legal trouble than you're currently in. Lord knows you need to focus on winning the battles that you've already started before you can go picking some more. Don't you fucking tell me what to do, Joe. For all I care, I might as well go in around New York City in a fucking bulldozer and just start randomly smacking shit as and when I wanted to. If that's what I decide I want to do, then there's nothing that your frail old ass could do to stop me. This is America, goddammit. Don't you ever go telling me what to do when we live in the freest country on the fucking planet. Donald, have you been reading about the fucking killdozer or something? Why on earth would you ever want to go around bulldozing random shit? For the exact same reason that I do everything else in life, Barack. I want to do it simply because I can do it. That is the beauty of America, you fucking communist. I can do whatever the hell I want, so long as I have enough money to fight the legal battle that comes after it. But surely you don't really want to do those kinds of things, Donald. Doing something like that would just be so needlessly mean and dangerous. You'd just be putting people in danger for absolutely no reason. This fucking game is the reason, Joe. If this asshole didn't want there to be a fucking massacre in his name, then he wouldn't have made a game that's so goddamn bullshit that it just straight up throws you off of things whenever the fuck it feels like it. Donald, can you calm down before you go destroying a third monitor for the day? Can you try meditating or some shit? Hell, smoke some weed if you have to, but at least do something. You're gonna fucking burn your entire house down with how much your gamer raging at the moment. Barack, how the fuck am I supposed to meditate and play video games at the same goddamn time? 
Have you just lost your fucking mind or something? Has your brain just gone completely numb after watching this same fucking strip of mountain for the past half an hour? Oh, you can definitely meditate while playing video games, Donald. I do it all of the time. I've actually been doing it this whole episode so far because I knew that this game was going to be a difficult one, so I had to steel my mind against it. Wait, so you've spent this entire episode just meditating? Does that mean you've had your eyes closed this entire time? Why, yes, it does, Barack. I've been sensing everything that's been going on from a mix of hearing your guys' reactions and using my chi to interpret what's on my screen. So you don't even have your goddamn eyes open, and yet you're trying to get me to give you one of my goddamn monitors? Well, you can say goodbye to me upgrading your setup for you if you're not even going to be able to fucking see it. Oh, man. I was really excited for that monitor, though. Barack, can we go back to threatening him for it? No way, Joe. I'm on Donald's side now. What's the point on spending a small fortune on a new monitor for you if you're able to use your strange hippie magic to sense what's going on without even needing to see the game anyway? So now I'm stuck with this thing just because I know how to meditate? Oh, this is so bullshit. Open your eyes, you fucking hippie. This is America, goddammit. We don't need any of your dumbass chai bullshit over here. The only power that we need to be aware of in this life is cold, hard cash. Okay, fine. I'll open my eyes. Ah, ah, the light, it burns. What the fuck? Joe, how long have you had your eyes closed for? Well, I heard that this game was really difficult, so I've been meditating for like a week straight to prepare myself for it. It's been so long since I've seen sunlight, and it seriously fucking hurts. Wait, what? Joe, how the fuck have you been meditating for a week straight? The only time I tried meditating, I tried doing it for five minutes and woke up three hours later, sitting in my neighbor's garbage naked with the cops screaming at me to let the hostages go. A well-trained mind is all you need, Donald. Maybe you should try coming to my classes at some point. The instructor over there is really good. Not a fucking chance, Joe. There's no way I'm gonna risk repeating what happened last time. If my option is to either take it out on my monitor or get some random middle-aged no-life to tell me how to breathe, then I'm more than happy to send my servant to Target to grab another one of these things. Surely destroying that many of those things is still gonna hurt your wallet, right, though, Donald? Can't you just try getting a punching bag or something to the side of you instead? At least with a punching bag, you wouldn't have to pay out hundreds of thousands of dollars each time you get angry. Barack, do you even have the slightest idea of how ungodly rich I am? I have enough money to buy out the entire world stock of these fucking things with ease. Besides, hitting a punching bag doesn't have the same kind of satisfying crack that hitting something breakable has. Nothing quite soothes my anger like knowing that I've just taken something out of this world with my bare hands. Holy moly, guys! We finally made it again. Oh, we can finally get back to our little pond again. Why the fuck are these twigs so goddamn small? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck shit. This game is so goddamn bullshit. I'm actually going to find wherever this developer lives and personally make sure that his house gets bulldozed and his internet permanently disconnected. Oh, we were right there! Oh, I was so excited to finally see our nice little pond again. For fuck's sake, Donald, why couldn't you just hold on to the fucking twig? I got through that section first try without any problems whatsoever. Well, it's not my fault that this game is fucking cheating. Maybe if Joe just picked a game that doesn't pull every underhanded trick possible on me, then we wouldn't even have to be in this situation in the first place. Oh, come on, Donald, that's not fair. How was I supposed to know that this game was going to be like this? I thought that it was just going to be an enjoyable but challenging climbing game. Joe, the game is literally called a difficult game about climbing. You even said yourself that you had to spend a whole ass week meditating just to be ready for it. How the hell could you get all of those clues and still be surprised when it's a difficult game? Yeah, Joe, you really fucked up with this one. You're going to be hearing all about this from my legal team once we're done with this episode. Donald, you shut the fuck up, too. If your dumbass could just hold on to a goddamn branch, then we wouldn't need to be redoing this whole section anyway. We fell down here like 15 minutes ago because of your annoying orange-looking ass, and we're gonna be down here for another 15 if you don't stop letting go of shit before you're supposed to. Fuck! Can we please just quit for the day and come back to this game again tomorrow? I'm so fucking sick and try to this first part of this game that it's actually starting to seriously piss me off. I think I could probably draw a one-to-one -one perfect recreation of this entire first section just because of how many fucking times we've had to go back up it. 
No way, Donald. You can't go saying all of this crap about how quickly you're going to beat this game only to then rage quit when we're still sitting right at the same fucking point that we started in. We're beating this game today and that's final. Yeah, come on, Donald. So long as we put our heads together and try our absolute hardest, then we can beat this game, no problem. Uh, we've just got to be patient and be willing to trust the learning process along the way. The learning process can lick my money hungry balls, Joe. I couldn't care less about being patient. Money comes to those who want it fast. I just want to get up to that goddamn summit and shove whatever asshole that made this game straight off of it. Well, if that's the case, then we had better get a move on and start trying to get back up there again. Surely, if we got up there once, then we can do it again. We just need to not fuck up on the branch next time that we do. It's a hell of a lot easier to say that when you're not the one that's actually having to play the fucking game, Barack. How about you just let your carry do his thing and stop questioning my incredible gaming abilities? Donald, I literally made it past the branch's first try. This is definitely one of those situations where I'm more than capable of criticizing you for messing up here. Oh, shut up, Barack. You're just jealous because you know that if it wasn't for the game cheating to make me fall down constantly, then I would be doing infinitely better than you in literally every single way possible. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Donald. Just try to focus up this time. That waterfall section should be pretty easy once we get back up there. All we need to do is make it back to that checkpoint and we'll be fine. Ooh, I think I finally figured it out. I think I finally know what this game reminds me of so much. Yeah, Joe, it's just like getting over it. We've discussed this already. No, Donald, that's not what I'm talking about. Do you guys remember when we were kids that we used to go down into the forest and climb trees for fun? That's what this game reminds me of. The rush of being able to climb up higher than all of your friends was so invigorating. Yeah, I guess. I also remember that falling from those trees weren't exactly as painless as it is here, though. Climbing those trees is how kids first figure out how fragile our legs are. Yeah, Joe. I remember there was this one kid back in my school that fell from one of those trees and split his goddamn head open. Poor bastard barely even had the time to say oops before he was being rushed to the hospital. Oh, that's all just survival of the fittest, Donald. If you can't even manage to stay upright on a tree, then you weren't meant for this world anyway. Besides the knowledge that you could fall off and get seriously hurt was the thing that made climbing the tree so exciting in the first place. Joe, did you and Donald fucking mind swap or something? That sounds exactly like something his orange ass would be saying just to get a reaction out of us. No way, Barack. I don't go risking my life for shit that doesn't make me any money. Cheap thrills are for poor people and drug addicts. The only thing I'm willing to risk my life for is some of that cold, hard cash. Okay, never mind. You two definitely did not mind swap. Donald is still very much a money-hungry asshole. You say that as though that's an insult, Barack? A money-hungry asshole is what I put in my goddamn Tinder bio, for fuck's sake. A money-hungry asshole is what I tell myself I'm going to be every time that I wake up in the morning. Oh, wouldn't you prefer to be something that's at least a little bit nicer, though, Donald? Surely you must have some kind of moral compass or something that's telling you to try and be a little bit nicer to people, right? That is pretty rich coming from the guy who just said that little kids getting their fucking brains smeared along the floor need to be fucking Darwinized. Morals are for the weak and the poor, Joe. You would be wise to abandon them and never look back. I haven't been tied down by your dumbass morals since I was eight years old. Oh, that is so not true, Donald. Morals can give us strength when we otherwise wouldn't find it. They might just be the most important thing that a person can have. Joe, the only thing that's important for a person to have is some of that ever so sweet green legal tender. Anything else is just a distraction. Clearly that mentality didn't manage to cross over when McDonald's starts being added into the mix, Donald. The amount of money that I have seen you spend at that place is actually ridiculous. That is different, Barack. I need McDonald's to keep my overwhelmingly amazing mind in top shape. Without my Mickey D's, I can't think straight, which actually compromises my ability to make money at the most efficient pace possible. The McDonald's is a core part of my business strategy, and its inclusion in my day is 100% necessary. Donald, dude, have you never tried just eating a salad or something instead? They are so much healthier, and they are absolutely delicious. Joe, are you a fucking rabbit or something? How in the actual fuck can you come to me with a straight face and tell me that a fucking salad is delicious? I think I would legitimately rather eat cat shit than those disgusting excuses for food. To be fair, Donald, 
A Caesar salad can actually slap incredibly hard. You get some nicely cooked chicken and some good dressing sauce, and you got yourself one hell of a crunchy and savory meal right there. Do you two just not have any fucking taste buds or something? I think if someone came to me and tried to feed me a goddamn salad, then I could probably have them locked up for trying to poison me. Fuck! Why am I falling at this part of all places? This is literally the exact starting point of the fucking game. I was able to beat this section easily an hour ago. Why the fuck is the game throwing me off here? Maybe you're just washed up, Donald. I had to deal with that a hell of a long time ago already. It's okay, though, Donald. You'll get used to it eventually. I am not washed up, you wrinkly fucking overcooked shrimp. I am still the god of gaming, and I will prove it to you. All I need to do is... Ah, fuck, fuck, fucking fuck, shit, fuck. All right, Donald. Are you finally willing to just admit that this game is difficult and start taking things slowly yet? I'm getting tired of watching you constantly fall because your dumbass ego won't just admit when you're struggling. All right, fine, Barack. I guess I'll start doing things your way. Just so you know, though, when this inevitably fails, I am going to be laughing in your face for even just suggesting that you knew how to play this game any better than the almighty Big D Trump. That sounds fine with me, Donald. Let's just wait and see how we go on from here. You might just find yourself being pleasantly surprised. Wait. Guys, are you seeing this? We go way further when reaching for something. If we just go straight up and then turn to where we want to go afterwards than if we were to try and swing towards it from underneath. Oh yeah, I see that, Joe. Good spotting on that one. I don't know if I would ever have noticed that before. Wait, you guys didn't notice that already? I knew that was the case a fucking hour ago. Oh, that is complete and total cap, Donald. You have been complaining about this game being too difficult for ages now. If there was a way to make things easier, then you definitely would have used it by now. I was trying to not make things too easy for me, Barack. I gotta add some difficulty into this game somehow, after all. All right, well, let's just use it here. Just please be careful not to slip and fall. I really do not want to go climbing all the way back up here again. Holy shit, okay, I made it. Now, for the love of God, game, please, just let me get back up to that checkpoint. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Oh, please, for the love of God, just let us get back up to that checkpoint now. Just take it slowly, Donald. There's no point in trying to rush this here. I'm doing it, Barack, don't worry. Hearing these branches start to crack and creak is really setting off my nerves, though. Oh, it's right there, Donald. Please just make it up this last little section. Oh, we're so nearly there. I can almost taste that sweet, sweet water again. Shut up a sec, guys. I need to focus here. Fuck yes, let's fucking go. Oh, I'm such a god-tier gamer. And to think. All it took was a little bit of teamwork and humility from you, Donald, and we were able to make quick work of this section without any issue. What the fuck are you talking about, Barack? The only thing that this section took was my incredible gaming prowess and nothing more. I am just simply too good for this game. Wait, but what happened to that whole thing about trying it our way? I thought that we beat that section because we all put our heads together and came up with a winning strategy. Joe, that literally never happened. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. The only strategy that I need in life is to simply win. That is the one and only strategy that I have ever used for anything in life, and it has literally never failed me before. Donald, we're literally recording. Anyone watching this video could just go back a couple of minutes and hear you say verbatim that you were gonna try it our way. And after you said that, you immediately went on to complete the section that we had been struggling with for like 20 minutes by that point. That is fake news, Barack. I never needed help from you two bozos because I am perfectly aware of the fact that I am so far above you two losers in terms of gaming ability that there is literally nothing that you two could ever do to help me. I am the most god-tier of all god-tier gamers and there is no game that can keep me down for more than a few minutes at a time. Well, so much for him being humble and willing to work as a team. I guess there's no way of fixing someone with that many issues so deeply baked into him. If being one of the best gamers to ever exist is an issue, then I don't want to be cured of it, Barack. It's not my fault that I am simply so ungodly amazing at everything I do that I leave everyone around me in the fucking dust from the moment that the go signal is given. Holy crap, we're already back here. Oh, we are absolutely zooming through this section at the moment. Exactly my point, Joe. This is just yet another obstacle that they try and fail to stop me with. There is nothing that can stop the Big D Trump from tasting the victory that he is all too accustomed to by this point. 
Donald, are you ever going to stop calling yourself the Big D Trump by this point? I'm pretty sure that most of the people watching by the time that you started that joke aren't even watching us anymore. I'll only stop calling myself that when you finally admit that I would make for a God-tier rapper, Barack. Donald, that is literally never going to happen. Well, I guess you're going to have to get used to the Big D Trump being my new name from here until you do then, Barack. I wonder if anyone even remembers where that name originally came from anyway. I would be very surprised if anyone who was watching when he first came up with that name is still watching. That name was made like a year ago by this point. Guys, can you shut the fuck up about my incredibly awesome rapper name for a second? Are we just completely forgetting about the fact that I'm currently way further than we've ever been before? We might even be close to a whole new checkpoint with how far ahead we're getting. Oh, wow. You're right, Donald. Oh, I'm so excited to see what comes next. Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that a goddamn hand? Why is there just a random ass marble statue sat out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere? Ooh, look at this pillar too. Does this mean that this whole section is going to be based off of all of the Greek style of architecture? Oh, I absolutely love that style. Holy fucking shit, we made it. We made it to another fucking checkpoint. Oh, I'm just too goddamn good at video games. It's honestly a curse by this point. Why was that section so much easier than the first one? Surely they would try to make the game be a fairly constant rise of difficulty rather than just placing their worst obstacle by far directly at the start of the game. Clearly they just weren't ready for someone like the Big D Trump, Barack. I can't say I blame them if I'm being completely honest. How could you possibly anticipate someone as awesome at everything as me? I guess you just have to chalk it up to a skill issue and go next. Wait, how the fuck are we supposed to get out of here? There's no way that we can make a jump like that. That gap is absolutely fucking enormous. Yeah, and we can climb up this pillar either because it just has a slide right off of it. Is there some other kind of way to get out of here that we just aren't seeing at the moment or something? Are we just fucking soft locked here? There is no way that they would make an area like this and then just make it completely impossible to leave, right? I think that it's just going to be a case of figuring out however the fuck we're supposed to make that jump, guys. Unless you guys want to try going all the way back down to the previous checkpoint and climbing all of the way back up here to take another shot at this bit, then we're just going to need to figure out how to do these jumps here. At the very least, this means that we've got an extremely safe area to figure this stuff out. If we fall, then we literally just have to swim over to that starting bit to try again, rather than the last time we had to make a big jump where we had to redo the entire section before we could take another shot at it. All right, well, maybe we can make it over if we just swing from side to side and use our momentum to get over there. Joe, are you fucking blind or something? I've literally been swinging from side to side for the momentum this entire time, and it's still not fucking working. How the hell are we supposed to make a jump that is this fucking far? There has to be something that we're missing. There must be some kind of strategy that we haven't tried yet. Or maybe even a jump button that we just never found out about. Barack, why the fuck would there be a jump button? That has to be the dumbest fucking thing that I have heard you say all day. And trust me, that is saying a whole hell of a lot. Well, let's just try quickly checking the pause menu, Donald. Maybe there's a controls list in here or something. Okay, so there's apparently a button to pull ourselves up. Maybe this is how we're supposed to make this jump. I'm willing to bet that we'll be able to cross the gap if we try pulling ourselves up while also swinging towards the direction that we want to be going in. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. I'm really not sure that this is going to be making it any easier, though. Just watch, Donald. I have all of the hope that this is going to work. Holy fuck! We made it! Why the fuck are we only just learning about this now? This would have been so much more useful to know about on that fucking jump at the beginning. We could have had that whole section done in, like, the first 10 minutes. Yeah, that actually is pretty annoying. Yeah. It would have been really helpful if they just had some kind of pop-up or something to show that it's a mechanic that exists at least. Having to go into the main menu to check your controls for anything you haven't found yet isn't exactly the most fun way to be learning that you've been missing a key part of the game that makes the major obstacles, like, 15 times easier. Oh, but at least we know about it now, guys. Now we can make this jump no problem and get to see what comes next. We might even be able to make it all of the way to the top today at this rate. Don't go looking on the bright side of this one, Joe. This game sucks fucking donkey balls for not telling us about this earlier. 
If we knew about that mechanic at the start of the game, then it would have saved us like half an hour of constantly falling down in the exact same fucking spot over and over again. We could have been here like half an hour ago. Hang on, Donald. I need to take a moment to process what the fuck it is that I just saw with those gears. It looked like if a gear that's in front of the one we're holding passes over us, then we immediately get put onto the gear in front instead of the one that we were holding before. So I guess from here, we've basically just got to be careful and make sure that when we're holding onto a gear, we're not holding it in a spot where we can get flung onto a different one instead. Well, that sounds easy enough, Barack. God, working with all of these gears without any safety equipment is reminding me of my old job that I used to have when I was a little boy. Yeah, they had some weird ideas about what qualified as safe back then. I'm honestly surprised you managed to work in one of those places and not end up losing a limb or something in the process. It wasn't easy, Barack. The horrors I saw in that workshop will haunt me forever. Fuck! Joe, can you shut the fuck up about your dumbass childhood stories already? I'm trying to focus on beating the fucking game already. Okay, Doki Donald, let's focus up here. Well, it looked like the next gear that we have to grab onto is pretty gosh darn small. We might need to come at that one a little bit differently to how we come up against the other ones. Joe, how the fuck could we come up against a goddamn gear any differently? It's a fucking gear, you dumbass. I'm just gonna fucking grab onto it like I do with literally everything else in this godforsaken game. No, Donald, I mean, like, we're probably gonna wanna be more patient with it because our window of opportunity for grabbing the thing is gonna be a whole hell of a lot smaller than it is for all of the other ones. That's dumb as fuck, Joe. We don't need to bother doing this any more slowly than we do anything else. Now shut the fuck up and let your carry do his thing already. Fuck, why the hell did that not work? That was a foolproof plan. Oh, this game is such horseshit. On the bright side, look at this. We're able to make that jump so easily now that we know about being able to pull yourself up like that. For the love of God, Barack, don't get me started on that again. I'm still pissed off that we're only learning about that mechanic after over an hour of playing the game without it. Ooh, we got it. Okay, so where are we supposed to go from here? I guess we just keep moving upwards for now. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why is it spinning me like that? Fuck! Are you serious? Oh, that is just downright evil. How the hell do you expect me to be able to be quick enough to grab that platform like that first try? I think the whole point is that they don't expect you to get it first try, Donald. That's why they have the checkpoint directly underneath it so that we can fuck up on that spot for free without having to worry about losing much progress. It's still bullshit, Barack is the fact that they've just forced us to replay this entire game over and over and over again not enough. Now they need to go adding all of this extra bullshit just to make it even more impossible to beat this dumbass game. I get that having a gamer of my caliber coming at your game is scary, but do you seriously need to add this much bullshit just to try and stop me? It's just downright cheating by this point. Is this you finally being willing to admit that this game is hard, Donald? Because that sure is what it sounds like to me. No, it is fucking not, Barack. This game is fucking easy. I'm just pointing out that this developer is trying his absolute hardest to make this game as annoying as physically possibly just to try and stop me from winning. This isn't me finding it difficult, Barack. This is just me getting annoyed at how badly this developer is trying to stop me. Oh, don't go getting too annoyed, Donald. Besides, I think that this developer has actually made a pretty good game here. I think that all of the cool areas that we're discovering are really unique and fun. I also think that the way the game feels to play is pretty solid overall. Shut the fuck up, Joe. This game is dog shit. You just like bad games for some reason. I'm pretty sure that this developer could come around to your house, punch you in the gut and spit on your face, and you would just thank him for the enjoyable experience before handing him a $10 bill. Wait, how do you know about my personal life like that? Have you got cameras in my house or something? What in the actual fuck is that top one? How in the ever-living fuck am I supposed to climb off of that thing? Shit! Okay, now this game is starting to seriously piss me off again. How the fuck does this game expect me to just keep going back and forth and back and forth just to find some random new hazard that's gonna fling me off at fucking light speed straight back down to the bottom? This is honestly just starting to sound like a little bit of a skill issue, Donald. Have you considered maybe just getting good? And have you considered maybe just getting some bitches, you fucking commie? Don't you dare go trying to tell the big D Trump to get good, Barack. 
I am the best fucking gamer that you will ever find in your entire goddamn life. There is literally no one out there that could play this game better than I can, and that is a big D Trump guarantee. That is actually not true, Donald. I recently started playing some games with a new guy, actually, who's pretty cracked overall. Maybe I'll try introducing him to you guys at some point. Better at video games than me? Barack, don't make me fucking laugh. There is literally no one out there that is better at video games than me. Anyone who tries saying that they are is fucking lying. I don't know, Donald. I was playing some Fortnite with the dude, and he was hard carrying my ass the entire time. You still play Fortnite? Well, no wonder he was able to carry your ass then, Barack. There's no way that I would be willing to touch Fortnite with a 10-foot pole. That game is for toddlers and meth addicts. They probably got good at Fortnite because it's one of the only games where the big D Trump's overwhelming abilities haven't completely scorched all competition off the face of the earth. Wait, is that even how that works? I always thought that people got better at games by having more difficult competition. I thought that it was something about because they have to do more to win, then they get better at doing more. That's exactly my point, Joe. How could someone be better than me if I'm not playing the game to force everyone playing the game to be even better? Well, if you're so sure, then why don't you just try picking up Fortnite again and giving it a go? We haven't played that game since like 2018. Because Fortnite hasn't been good since season four, Barack. If I wanted to play a game where you have to deal with Peter fucking Griffin shooting you, then I would have gone and played that dumbass Family Guy mobile game from like a decade ago. I think I'd honestly rather play this game for like four hours straight than play a single fucking round of Fortnite now. Donald, I really don't think that we can go believing ourselves to be above playing games like Fortnite. We're playing some seriously strange games for this channel. Games far weirder than Fortnite. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Barack. All the games we play here are pretty cool if you ask me. I can't think of any game that we've played that has been pretty cool in its own right. That's just because you're the one picking them all, Joe. Have you forgotten about games like fucking Kitty Cart 64 already? That game was total ass, and yet also managed to be one of the most unintelligible fever dreams of a game that I have ever fucking seen. Oh, come on, Donald, that game was cool. Do you not remember all of the mysterious stuff that was going on in that game with the cat that couldn't talk and the crying cats in the children's drawings? I'm willing to bet that there was a really cool story behind that one. Joe, it was a horror game with the mask of a kid-friendly one. I'm willing to bet every dollar I have that the story was going to be something along the lines of some kid dying and haunting the game, causing it to be all fucked up. Literally every single horror game for the past four years has involved some kind of dead kids haunting things and making them kill everyone. It isn't exactly new ground by this point for a horror game to go, implying that there was a kid who died in it. Oh, come on, Donald. Are you saying that you're not phased at all when you hear about kids getting hurt like that? You must be seriously heartless if you aren't at least a little bit creeped out by the thought of that. Joe, weren't you the one saying that a kid falling from a tree was just survival of the fittest? There is no way that you are going to be lecturing me about needing to be creeped out by the same played out bullshit when you also say shit like that a few minutes prior. Besides, I was at least a tiny bit creeped out by it when it was first seen a fucking decade ago with the original FNAF games. But after seeing it for the 40th fucking time that month, I kind of just don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm honestly gonna side with Donald on this one, Joe. The story has started getting so unbearably played out that we've even started seeing entire stories become one big trope. You remember when Poppy Playtime's story was considered unique and interesting? Now it seems like just about every other new horror game takes place in some kind of toy factory where the toys are possessed by dead kids who want to kill people. Well, I for one still think that it is a pretty creepy and unnerving topic. And I for one am still interested in seeing where a lot of the plot for these kinds of games ends up going. We can fucking tell, Joe. You've been asking us to play the new Garden of Ban Ban game for like a month now. Haven't they released the sixth game, but not the fifth? How in the actual fuck does that even happen? I actually have straight up no idea, Donald. I don't think I have ever seen a chronologically released game to be released out of order. It does kind of raise the question, though, on just how many of those games are they working on at the exact same time? There is no way that they just decided that they didn't want to finish number five, so they moved on to the sixth. Surely it had to be released like that because number six just got finished before number five did. 
Oh, does it really matter, guys? At the end of the day, it just means that there is going to be another Garten of Ban Ban game for us to play. Can we please just play it sometime? I'll tell you what, Joe. When the day comes that they actually release number five, then we will play both five and six in the same day. That way we don't confuse anyone by uploading a video on number six before we ever play number five. Oh, yippee. Okay, Barack, I'm willing to wait for that. Oh boy, it's gonna be so much fun when that finally drops. Speaking of dropping, can we get back to focusing on the fucking game already? This piece of shit fucking spinny thingy has stopped me from going up any higher for fucking ages. I swear I've been stuck on this exact same fucking obstacle for like 15 minutes straight by this point. Well, at least we can get up to it in like 30 seconds rather than the two minutes that it took us to get to that jump from earlier, Donald. With how easy it is to take new attempts at this thing, we're gonna be able to get up there and get a successful attempt going in no time. This is if we even manage to fucking do this jump again. I thought that the whole pull thing was supposed to make this jump easier. Why the hell are we still having to take like three attempts each time we want to go up this thing? I guess there's still some randomness to the whole jumping thing, even if we do have a solid enough technique. We've made it now though, so let's just focus on getting past that really fast spinny thingy for now, and then hopefully it won't be drastically longer after that point that we'll be able to reach ourselves another checkpoint. All right, I'm just going to try going as far to the right on this bottom one as physically possible. I'm going to need some peace and quiet while I focus on this. Holy crap, you made it! You're goddamn right that I did, Joe. Now we just need to go a bit further, and I'm sure that there's going to be another checkpoint somewhere around here soon. Wait, are we going to have to jump over to that other weight thingy? If we miss that jump, I don't think we'll be in line to hit our previous checkpoint. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Holy crap, we made it! We actually made it all the way up here. Oh, I was so scared that we were gonna miss that jump and be sent all of the way back down to the bottom there. Joe, I think you're starting to forget the fact that you are currently playing with one of the most elite gamers to have ever gamed. This game should honestly just let us reach the summit already because there is absolutely zero fucking way that we don't beat this game right here. Oh, guys, are you seeing this new area? Oh, I absolutely adore this game's art style. These houses look so cool. Joe, are you fucking high or something? These houses look like something a 16th century peasant would be staying in. If this house is so cool, then where the fuck is the 15-car garage or the jumbo hot tub? This place isn't even a fucking mansion, for God's sake. Oh, not every house has to have a large hot tub or garage for it to be cool, Donald. Okay, well now there's just no need to be lying like that. At the very least though, I am going to give this place points for having its very own observatory. Wait, how the hell are we supposed to make this jump here? If we were able to make the jump inside of that clock tower from earlier than this one, shouldn't be as hard, Donald. Besides, we at the very least have a little bit of a safety net here with the fact that we can pretty quickly catch ourselves before we fall if we mess it up. That is actually a pretty good point, Barack. You know, they should really try making this game a little bit harder for me. If they go making this as easy as they are at the moment, then we're not even going to get enough playtime out of this game top. Justify its price tag. They had better start putting some actual challenges in front of us soon. Donald, haven't you been complaining about how long we've been stuck for? Are you sure it's a good idea to risk jinxing us at the moment? Joe, jinxing doesn't fucking exist. That's just something poor people tell themselves to try and make up excuses for why they're broke. Now, what the fuck are we supposed to do here? Well, I think the answer to that is pretty obvious, Donald. It looks like we've got to swing on these clothes to get to the other side. That next jump is looking really hard, though. Oh, come on, Barack. Haven't you learned anything from our time here today? I thought by now you would have learned that there is literally nothing this game can throw at us that I can't handle. Well, I guess that's Donald's computer now completely destroyed. I guess so, Joe. Well, this is as good of a spot as any to end the episode for today anyway. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you again.